Hey guys, it's the Whiteout60 here, and I'm going to show you how to uh, create an, um, your own Minecraft server that your friends can play on, even if they're not on the same local area network. So, there are a lot of tutorials out there that will tell you how to launch a Minecraft server. Basically, all they say is, um, you know, just download the file and launch it, which I guess does start the server, but it gets... There's a, bit, a couple more steps in there that you're going to need to complete if you really want to um, let other people play on it. So first off, before I start, I'm sorry the Cam Studio thing is up. If I minimize it, it just goes completely crazy. It doesn't work. I don't know why, but it's there. So Cam Studio is sitting there. Um, onward. So, well, a couple notes that I'm going to give you. Uh, Ubuntu, way better at this than Windows. I'm in Windows right now, but I actually dual boot Ubuntu with this computer. Um, it's, I basically only use it for the Minecraft server. It runs flawlessly. Um, I just don't know why Windows performs so poorly. In comparison, I guess it's just Windows sucks at handling these large amounts of data. Um, so, yeah. I'll give you a couple of Ubuntu tips along the way in case you're doing this in Ubuntu. So let's start. Obviously, you're going to need the um, Minecraft server software. So you've probably seen this in a multitude of other tutorials. But I'm going to. Oh, yeah, Minecraft was hit by an attack today. I guess they're down. Anyway, go on there, download the uh, Windows. No, or whatever. Whatever server you're using, whether it be JAR or Windows. Um, or X EXE, sorry. Now, here's a little tip. A couple times when I was downloading the uh, server for Windows, when I tested it out, it comes up as, I know this is regular Minecraft, but let me just pull it up. So see how it says application exe. The, um, the server might download and just say file, it might not launch. What you need to do is you go, need to go to the properties of the server and type in .exe, like that. And just press apply or OK. Uh, and I was going to cancel that and then it should run uh, which should help you guys out so after you have it downloaded you're going to need to open up your uh, go to your uh, your uh, router I use this I don't really care if you guys see seen this it's not like this is any, anything bad okay um, now you are going to need to uh, port forward um, your um, your server. As you can see, I port forwarded my Minecraft server right here. Now, okay, you might be a little confused. So, port forwarding, you just go to your router page. Go to their port forward page. It's got to be on there somewhere. Every router has it. And add a rule. This is what um, many D-links look like. If you have a D-link, this is what it's going to look like. Um, name it whatever you want doesn't you might not have that doesn't matter so the IP address is the computer that's going to be the server so if you don't know what your IP is if you're in uh, Ubuntu just open up a ter terminal type in if, if config um, and enter, hit enter should pop up um, in there under like uh, depending if you're plugged into Ethernet or not or if you're plugged into um, wireless, it'll come up under either WLAN or Etho uh, 0. If you're in uh, Windows, just type in IP config all, or just IP config, I think. I've done this in a while. Um, and that'll show you your. Uh, oh, that's a command prompt, sorry. So just pop that up. We'll just try something like. I don't know what it is. Yeah, IP config. Scroll up. I don't know why I have so many media connections. Don't ask me. I really don't know. Okay, um, so this is my address. Right there. That's, that's the address you need to put in right there. Uh, and ignore that. You need to make sure you set TCP and UD UDP to 25565 um, and allow these ports to be open. Uh, in case any of you guys out there were wondering. And then just make sure it's running. I also, yeah, okay, so just make sure it's running. So after you've done that, you're also going to need to uh, launch another thing. 
So find your um one. Sorry, I've not used this in a while. Okay, find your. Uh, I have my name. Congratulations, you know my friend. First name. Wow, I was so scared. Okay, so um, these are two computers I have set to have the same IP address no matter what happens to the router. So it'll be somewhere in our DHCP reservations list, um, dynamic uh, IP address, something like that. Static, I mean, sorry, sorry, static IP address. Um, and basically, it'll stay the same. Um, if even if you power your router off, if uh, it resets, if you turn your computer off, no matter what, power back on, it'll be the same. Um, this is actually the server I'm running it on right now. As you can see, I've set it. Just, just make sure you set it up like that. Okay. If you have questions, just just message me through any of this. If you have a question, just send me a message on YouTube. Please. Okay. Um, Last thing you're going well yeah wait I think we've actually covered it all so we've got we've got a port forwarded we've got give we've given you a uh, static IP we've given you a um, we've uh, configured your firewall so now you just need to go to like what's my IP just type in what's my IP in uh, Google click find it um, if someone wants to connect, they need to take whatever number this this website gives you and put like so. Say okay, so this is your IP, okay. So you need to take that and then you need to put two five five six five. That's what you're gonna need, right there. So make sure you get that done. That's how they connect. I'm not sure what else I need to show you guys um, besides telling you a couple of Ubuntu stuff. You can probably just exit the video now or go back, rewind if you're if you're in Windows. Um, I've showed you basically everything. Obviously, you need to launch the uh, Minecraft server. Um, okay, so in Ubuntu, when you're adding your uh, your uh, your your rule for uh, the firewall, you need to make sure. Um, I suggest getting Firestarter in the Ubuntu Software Center. Um, create a rule and. <coughs> Sorry, create a rule in that uh, you should be good. Uh, the same rule, you know, t five five six five. And oh yes, if you're going to launch the Minecraft server in Ubuntu, make sure you have Java installed. Launch it with Java the first time by right-clicking on it like this. Say this was it. Make sure you go to Properties. It'll say like a Permissions tab up here. Go down. Click on Allow Executing Files as Program, and then right-click again. Press like Run um, with Java JDK or something. Uh, after it's after it's run the first time um, with the graphical interface, you can just uh, close out of it, and then go to Minecraft.net. Um, get the get the terminal pr uh, terminal command whatever. Um, copy that. Paste it in your terminal and run, terminal and run it run it again. It's much more efficient if it's in your terminal. So yeah, so that's about it, guys. I hope you can do this. Um, if you have any questions, please just ask. I am here to answer your questions and uh, tell your friends. Rate, subscribe. Thanks. Bye.